A new salvo fired in the Defense of Marriage Act with a third case now petitioning the Supreme Court for review. The Democratic National Committee could make history by adding marriage equality to the official party platform, and the mayor of Boston lashes out at Chick-fil-A. I'm Matt Baum at the American Foundation for Equal Rights, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for July 23rd, 2012. Yet another DOMA case is now headed to the U.S. Supreme Court. This time it's the case of Edith Windsor, who was married but taxed like a legal stranger when her wife passed away. That case has already seen DOMA ruled unconstitutional once by a district court judge in New York. Ordinarily, the next step would be an appeal, but Windsor's lawyers want to skip that and go directly to the U.S. Supreme Court. This would make the third case that's petitioning the, uh, for review in the court's next term. The other two are Gill in Massachusetts and Galinsky in California. In addition, the Prop 8 proponents are expected to petition the court at some point in the next two months, making for a fourth marriage case. We'll be keeping a close eye on all the DOMA cases, and we'll have a special episode of Marriage News Watch when the Prop 8 proponents file their petition. Also on the horizon are big changes to the official Democratic Party platform. According to Democratic National Committee Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz, marriage equality may be in the party's official platform for the first time this year. It's not a done deal just yet. First, the drafting committee has to meet, which happens next weekend in Minneapolis. Then there's a final meeting in Detroit on August 10th to discuss the draft platform. And then it's finalized at the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte in early September. And finally this week, there's renewed outcry over Chick-fil-A's stance on marriage equality. For years, the organization has donated heavily to anti-gay groups and events. Now the president of the chain has explicitly stated his opposition to providing protections for gay families. In response, Boston Mayor Thomas Menino has promised to block the company's efforts to expand with a store along the Freedom Trail. No word yet on whether other municipalities will follow suit. Those are the headlines. Visit us over at AFER.org for more on the federal fight to overturn Prop 8. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum.